name is Beatrice Buatiado. I'm the grants manager for the African Women's Development Fund. I am talking to Mausi Yauti, who is the executive director of NEWIC. Um, recently, AWDF undertook an evaluation of its economic empowerment and livelihood program. And Mausi was part of the discussion. And this afternoon, we will want to talk to Mausi and find out how her organization has been engaging with women's livelihood at the community level and bringing them up to the micro and macro levels. Mausi, you are welcome. Thank you. Mausi, in what areas of the of economic empowerment and livelihood has NEWIC been engaging? Um, NEWIC has been looking at a, more of a enterprise creation and um, business management, uh, technical skills, and um, managerial training courses for rural marginalized women. And um, so far, we've trained over 6,000 women across the country. We're looking at um, women who have either started their business but not going too well due to some lapses, and those who have not started anything at all. Those who have not started anything at all, what we do for them is to do some needs assessment and know exactly which area they think they want to go into. And then we, we take them through the uh, vocational skills uh, training in uh, eco-friendly products such as um, toiletries, and, um, cosmetics, uh, textiles, beads, jewelry, and many others. And then we train them in how to manage those businesses to grow them into viable and sustainable businesses. Uh, basically, that is what I can see. AWDA has been looking at uh, moving women, especially at the grassroots level, from one degree of uh, income earning to the other. And one of our key issues has been on how to move women from livelihood to income creation, to wealth creation, to employment creation. Your organization has been doing some work around that. What kinds of experiences do you have around that? Oh, we, 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 we have um, great experiences, enormous experiences. For the past 10 years, we've been involved in that. And what we do is to take them through the process of how to grow that business from that small level to a higher level. And uh, so what we do is to take them through a lot of uh, customer care, how to do record keeping, how to do your purchasing, and all those things. It's, uh, and then having access to markets, which is very important. Um, fortunately, with the support of AWDF and, and another organization, we're involved in uh, a capacity building a training in Canada. We went and did um, a livelihoods and markets course, and uh, after that course, we realized that yes, we've done a lot of a lot of training for women building their capacity in 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 um, technical skills. What next? To let the business grow is to link them up to the markets. And a lot of people are looking at the export market, but it is not that easy, and it's not. One, certification, it's a, it's a very big challenge, very cumbersome and uh, very capital intensive. And we realize that the base of the pyramid, I mean, there's a lot of market there in the country, locally. There are lots of people who don't know much about these share butter product centers, which is very good for people outside. And if the outsiders know the value, then how about those of us inside? So we have gone around educating people, letting them know that share products are very important. They are very good for the body. It moisturizes the body and then it's good for the hair. And the value, it's it, 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 it used to do so many other things. So this is what we, we are educating people on. And they're supporting the very women that we have trained, supporting them to have access to markets. In the, big, in the big cities, because you find most of them in the, in the small rural areas and marketing their products is a big problem for them. So we link them up to buyers in Accra, 
where when there are uh, exhibitions and bazaars and fairs, we, we, we support them, buy, uh, get stands for them, and then invite them to come in. Uh, uh, exhibit their products and sell their products and then get buyers who order for them uh, in, in bulk. Fortunately, we sent a proposal to AWDF asking them to support us to, uh, to open a main sales outlet in Accra. And luckily, that proposal has been approved. We've been given some grants and, and, we, and we're looking for a, a, a bigger place in Accra where all the people that we have trained, they'll bring their products down to Accra. And they'll have a central market where uh, people who, who are interested in organic uh, uh, products would come in. They buy and it to be a source of markets for, for these very people who have a big challenge selling their uh, items down the villages. Being able to access markets means that um, you should go, you should brand your product, you should uh, market it properly, you should increase your production. But do these women have capital? One strategy that has been has been touted around is the use of microcredits for women. Is microcredit the way to go? Yes, certainly. Microcredit is the way to go. You know, these these women don't have collateral. To go to the uh, bigger banks to uh, to go for money, and these banks are not looking for starters. They are looking for people who have already made it. And most of these women don't really have the money. So the best way to go about that to support them to to scale up their 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 production is is, is to let them have access to microcredit. And I always say that AWD is to network. It's, it's like our bed, where we get the comfort from. They have pushed up so far. We started from a very small beginning and through the grants and capacity uh, building courses that we've, that we've enjoyed or benefited from, from AWDF. We've come this far and we, we have decided to, to, to go into supporting these, these women uh, to have uh, access to microcredit. Um, this year, we're lucky again. Um, the support of AWDF, we attended a, a course in Uganda uh, for us to think about how to develop a um, resource mobilization strategy document. We went through the process, we did the thinking, and we finally came out with um, a resource mobilization document. That was something that without AWDF, we wouldn't have been able to achieve. We achieved that and we came out with the document and we circulated it. Fortunately, we had um, a, a man, an, an organization in, in India, Khan Foundation. They, they got hold of our, our, our document and we started um, um, corresponding through the emails. And last week, they sent down um, one of their representatives in charge of the micro uh, uh, um, credit uh, section. He came down, and we we, we had discussions, and um, it was agreed upon. They they they, 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 they told us um, the the system that they used and brought about success stories, and so we agreed that um, when they go back uh, with discussion with 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 the uh, chief executive. They would sponsor some of our women to come to India to 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 understudy uh, them, and then we would start one in Ghana. And they they made us aware that what really worked well for them was that um, the women themselves would contribute their monies, um, like the way we do it in Ghana, the Susu form, and that one would uh, would be used as loans by by the members. And that is what they'll use to tackle their basic needs. And then after that, when um, the microcredit itself starts, the women would actually use it to run their business. We tried it, and the pilot one is, is working well. And so we think that going on a bigger scale would help. And I believe that without microcredit, 
I mean, all the work that we're doing wouldn't really grow. Thank you very much, Mausi. So, Mausi's organization is one of the many organizations that the African Women's Development Fund has been working with in an effort to expand the income earning base of African women. At the African Women's Development Fund, we believe in moving women from the micro level to the macro level. And therefore, we are investing in women to move them from livelihood issues to employment.